detached from uh, So otherwise it becomes, everything becomes very serious, right? The so, weight of Mithya drops. Ah, uh -huh, weight of Mithya drops. Ashwini? Huh? In the whole world, nobody is there actually. I alone exist. <laughs> I alone is appearing as everybody. The friend is I, enemy is I, mother in law is I, father in law is I. <laughs> when you are shouting at your friend, you are shouting at yourself really. That's why it comes back to you. <laughs> if you shout one, it comes back twice. <laughs> So in reality, the karma means actually what I am doing it is for myself. Okay? You understand? That's why the karma bounces back. You hit somebody, it will come with a double bang. Okay? You hurt somebody, it will come back to you. You serve somebody, it will come back to you. You love somebody, it will come back to you. Without knowing that we start segregating the world into enemies, friends, competitors, so actually you are, what you are doing is a damage to yourself when you hurt somebody. Because all are your own appearances. There's no other than you. So Maitre, what it means to be a world where you are, uh, you alone are there? Huh. So how does it change your life? How does it change your life? Does it help you, affect your life? This understanding? How? <coughs> you have to think so much to understand, tell it, it means it's not there. The, it's not there in the uppermost in the mind. So does it affect your life, this understanding? <coughs> Otherwise you think that somebody is separate from the world. So everybody is I. Then if everybody is I, then what does, how does it change your life? You would never hate yourself, you would never deceive yourself. You try to be good or not, but love will be there. Okay, otherwise now hatred is there, jealousy is there, anger is there, fear is there. Negative thoughts will go away. Negative thoughts will go away. Instead of reacting, we'll start responding. Responding. And without knowing this, we do a lot of karma. We hurt somebody, we create some bad words, we use, or we may do some good words also. Whatever you do, it comes back to you because you only are there. It's not nobody else. The karma, law of karma works because you only are appearing as me. The same consciousness in everybody. Not everybody. There's nobody. <laughs> there is no body. <laughs> See this again coming from duality thinking. There's every body is same consciousness. There are again dualities coming in picture, what you're speaking of. There's no everybody, there's no consciousness. There's only consciousness. Yes. <laughs> Appearing as bodies. <laughs> in your dream, you met 10,000 people in a railway station. There are no 10,000 people. There are no 10,000 bodies. The 10,000 bodies appeared <coughs> from your mind. And mind alone only was there. So there are so many people sitting here. No, there's only consciousness appearing as so many people. Okay, so how does this change your life? <laughs> I become more detached, I, I show more love when start doing things consciously. Okay. <laughs> Remembering it will come back to me. Nangi Guruji, I am more into uh, silence where <coughs> I have to react, I will become silent. And uh, as she said, yeah, more of uh, love. Very good. So it makes you indifferent sometimes. It doesn't make indifferent. No. See, it may, the love is not indifference. No. See, what happens when you when you see the pain of somebody, actually you are in pain. Okay. How can you be indifferent? About what happens? No, no. One is the first negative thoughts will go. Hmm. Then of course, uh, as you said, the positive thoughts like love, all that will come. Mm -hmm. But uh, after some time, even that doesn't matter. You Detached. Detached. You will become detached, yeah. but the actions <coughs> will be always of love and compassion. Okay? There will be never an indifference in the person because everything is consciousness. Suppose you your leg is paining, you will, you will not take action. Right? 
forget about somebody else sir. leg is paining you know it's mamitya but still you could apply a bandage and does it lead to withdrawal which is what is withdrawal sometimes uh, uh, you <coughs> want to be Uh, more with consciousness means you start withdrawing from the world. Now this is where I'm saying. No, this is actually the concept which is self is a, is a initial stage. Uh. When then a stage will come when the world itself is Brahman. Then where is the withdrawal? <laughs> See the the withdrawal the withdrawal is initial stage of sadhana. Uh. That's where people become monk and all. Yeah. Okay, they're trying to withdraw from the world, uh. but that's not the end. Uh. Aham Brahmasmi. Sarva Kala is the Brahman. All this is Brahman. Then where do you withdraw? <coughs> But the withdrawal comes now in the sadhana. That's what I'm saying. That's the initial state. Mm. But in the sadhya samadhi, mm. there's nothing to withdraw. <laughs> See, you are. How can I? I want to move away from space. How is it possible? See, the withdrawal concept. I'll tell you what it means. Okay. So people don't understand what withdrawal means. Mm. I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Anybody else? How does it change uh, your life? No more karmas. Ha, huh, karmas will not be there. Yeah. Okay. There is no. The karmas will drop. <coughs> right. So, my three, will it affect your competitors? Will it affect my competitors? Co competitors. I want to be successful. I want to be competitive. I think. I mean, you will become not competitive, uncompetitive. No, not that. Not that. Ha, huh, then how it will affect? <laughs> That's what I'm asking you. Let us say you are in a very highly competitive world. This understanding the world is mitya. How it will affect you? Um, you give <laughs> your best. You give your best. You resign. Success and failure. You. So it is more like a drama. Okay. In the drama, the actor knows everything is a play. But in that play, he will do it very well. Okay, yeah. but when you take the drama very seriously, you will not play well. You will get depressed. You will you will get hurt. When you understand everything, success and failure, both are the outcome of a drama. Then you will not get affected. You will do your best. Mind becomes free. Okay, there is nothing called withdrawal in this. Actually, this concept of withdrawal is not uh, the real uh, spirituality. Mm. The spirituality is sarvam khali the Brahman. All this is Brahman. If High sign of enlightenment is withdrawal. Sri Krishna should be sitting, sitting in the bedroom. He doesn't do that. He is everywhere, all around. Okay, now that withdrawal is a actually a sort of a prarabdha karma for some people. Prarabdha, residual prarabdha karma. In reality, what will happen? You start becoming friendly with you. Uh, you start connecting. Okay. More into the world. Yeah. So now, why I am sitting with all you people? Okay. What is the point? Okay, I know your pain is mitya. I know you are crying at home. All useless crimes. Crimes. <laughs> <laughs> you are crying mitya. Your son is uh, shouting at you, and you are crying mitya. So all those are mitya. I know. Then why should I teach? When everything is mitya, why should I teach? Right? I know it's mitya, but I know also know that you think it is real. Okay. So then, when you are feeling pain, I know that what is pain. You are feeling feeling a pain, and that's my pain. I know that pain can be relieved. That's why I'm teaching you, so that you can become free. Because it's not you who is sitting there; it's I who is sitting there. I am seeing me in all of you. Okay, that's why I conduct classes. I see myself in all of you. In fact, I can't see any separation from any of you. Yes. Okay. You can't understand what I say or what I see. I am not able to see there is somebody separate from me. <coughs> okay, it is not thinking. Experience. Ha! Huh. Just like you are experience able to experience pain, I am. I am. I am not able to experience anybody separate from me. Okay. So you are all me. So I am teaching me to me. Okay, the waking part of me is sleep try, trying to talk to <coughs> sleeping part of me. That's the teaching. No, stage is birthday. Bro, that's when you have to run to run to and come here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that is what I meant. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have the 
Sunday would have been different for me. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Huh. You say explain withdrawal. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. All right. So the entire concept of now you have to understand something called attention. Okay. Attention. We get experience in life when there is attention. Suppose you came, you came here because your attention came here. Your attention was here. That's why you are able to experience. Your attention is somewhere else. You'll experience that. The attention moves. Okay. What mo when you call mind actually, the mind has thoughts. Thoughts are what we call as part of memory, which is unreal. Attention is coming from the self directly. The attention is the origination of the mind. When the attention comes, okay, you experience something. And the experience goes into memory and memory becomes unreal. Memories, thoughts are unreal. But the present moment is called attention. And present moment is called directly coming from the Atma, the self. And that attention is coming out. Right? So attention okay, is getting stuck. A boy is seeing a very attractive girl. His attention is stuck there only. Nothing in the world goes into his head. Because his attention is stuck. Okay? Somebody is very successful. He wants to make more and more money. His attention is stuck in money. Attention. So then he continuously keeps on getting that attraction, that experience. Are you getting what I'm saying? Your experience will come via this attention. Okay? And that experience will get recorded as memory. And that memory is thoughts are mitya. But when your experience is happening, that experience is real. Okay? And experience can happen only when the attention is there. Right? Presence. Huh? Presence. Huh, presence or attention, whatever is there. Mm -hmm. So now, this attention gets stuck in life. And many times when attention gets stuck, you get start getting suffering. Okay? Somebody wants to make money, more money, more money, more money, then blood pressure will increase, heart disease will increase, all those things will increase. Now, unless he takes out the attention and puts it into something else that he cannot get different experience. So that's why you said, withdraw means take your attention from that. Okay? You have to, attention is stuck somewhere. Right? At some point of time, your attention gets stuck something in life. Right? Everybody has experience? Yeah. Where is your attention stuck now? <laughs> More lessons. Mm -hmm. That's a momentary, actually. Attention, her attention is already stuck very permanently. <laughs> Where? <laughs> You understand Ashwini your attention? Where is your attention stuck? Thinking about the kids. Ah, the children. <laughs> See, one part of the attention is already getting dragged by the kids. Mm. Understand? Huh? Like that our attention gets stuck somewhere. Now when attention is there, the continuous that experience only comes. So then at experience is real. When your experience is real, so then experience is real, then more and more memories. memories will happen. Impressions, those memories will come. Again you are in a cycle. So the only way you have to get out is unfix your attention. Remove your attention. How do you do that? Live in the moment. Huh? Live in the moment. Yeah, but to live in the moment? He is saying, I am living in the moment. Every moment I am making money. What else live in the moment? <laughs> Somebody says, a boy says to a girl, I am living in the moment. Every moment I am thinking of you. <laughs> you stop the experience. <laughs> so, everybody lives in the moment only. Okay, right? Do you think a boy is going after the girl? He is not living in the moment? No, living in the present, I mean. He is living in the present only. He is not remembering her past or future. <laughs> <laughs> he is chasing her every moment. <laughs> See, these all words are double-edged. So, words are like... <laughs> so, when you live in the moment, it means the moment is momentary, Okay, the self is eternal. You become the Sakshi, the witness. Okay, <laughs> so now this boy is not witness, he is witnessing somebody else, but he is not a witness of himself. <laughs> right? So to become the witness, you have to withdraw the attention from entry. And attention, they say, always I like and dislike. Your attention always goes to what you like and what you dislike, it moves away. So like and dislike are predominant. So then it's a spiritual first teaching is become free from like and dislike. So you can free your attention. So then you can become a witness. That's the teaching. But that's not the end. After that, the entire world will become Brahman. 
<laughs> First realize I am Brahman, then entire world has to become Brahman. It's not the end up. If you just say Aham Brahman, I am Brahman, then you will become withdraw. You will become withdraw and sit somewhere in the mountain. Okay? Because everything is Maya. <coughs> then you come back. No, no, no. It's not just Mount uh, Maya. It's everything is Brahman only. Whatever I touch, smell and taste, everything is Brahman. <laughs> so it has to be end both. So the withdrawal is just remove your attention from what you are stuck. Okay? That's why people say sannyasa, this thing and all. It's basically attention is getting stuck. Okay, let us do some practice now. Hmm? Going into meditation also. Yes, yes. Withdrawal, but purpose is to remove the attention which is stuck somewhere. Okay. But I am saying withdrawal after after when you reach the natural state, then there's no concept of withdrawal because there's no inside and outside. Right? So right now there is a withdrawal is there because there is an inside and outside concept is there. Am I getting clear? Okay. Now, let us start a meditation called Sahaja Samadhi or natural state. So naturally we should become thought free. If there is no thought, there is no world. Okay. But I am feeling is there. Okay. Who has to experience this th thoughtless state? I am. Then the world is Maya or Mitya understood. Right? How will you do that is well practice. Teach. Hmm? Switch off the light. So the key here is the mind can have thoughts only when there are objects. When your mind goes to the space, there are no thoughts. Okay, mind becomes thought free when there is space. Is it clear for everybody? If, you, if your attention goes to space, then there is no thought. If your attention goes to the mobile, then there is a mobile thought is there. A space is nothingness, emptiness. In emptiness, thoughts cannot exist. The mind will become naturally silent. Is this understood everybody? So, which where we have to take our attention to the inner space? Okay, inner space. There is a space inside, and there is an I feeling is there. So then you will start getting established in the I am feeling. Okay, I am only there. The thoughts are not there. So when I am only there, I am real, and thoughts are unreal. The world is unreal. So Brahma Satya, Jagan Mitya. Okay. So let us start. Hmm? <coughs> Close your eyes. Become aware of the space, in infinite space, beginningless, endless space. In space, all objects float. The stars, planets, galaxies float in space. But nothing can affect space. There is a space inside the room, the space outside the room. But space cannot get cut by inside and outside. Space is always infinite and one become aware of the space within your body from head to toe the moment you become aware of the space inside the body the mind becomes silent thoughtless mind can think only of the object mind cannot think of the space Become aware of the inner space from head to toe. In the inner space, the organs of the body float. And within each organ, there are cells, molecules. And cells and molecules are also floating in space. <coughs> in other words, there is inner space which is fully empty. Become aware of that inner space. <coughs> the space cannot be cut within the body and outside the body. It's a continuum. Become aware of the inner space where there is a feeling of I am throughout your inner space. Take your attention to the inner space, to the chest cavity. Stay there. There's a feeling of I amness and inner space. 
Stay in that inner space. Stay in that I amness. The mind will become deeply silent, fully aware. If any thought comes, you ask a question, who am I? You don't have to find an answer because there is no answer for that thought, question. Only silence is there. Again, go back to the inner space, to the I am feeling, attention, in this chest cavity. Stay in that bliss of thoughtless state. If there is a feeling of body, the feeling is mithya, the feeling is a thought. Thought is nothing but consciousness. Come back to I am. Like that everything you convert into I am. Stay in that inner space, chest cavity. Everything is consciousness. I am. <coughs> 